jadi aktris, icon, producer, singer. What else do you do? You writer, lover, <laughs> mother, <laughs> friend, daughter, sister. <laughs> What about the reputation of being controversial? Uh, found the niche for me, Bernie. So I guess I, I, I guess it's okay. Sometimes I also look back to this moment when you know there are moments when you get really brave about certain things, and then you go, Oh my God, did I say that? I'm an open book. Madaldal. <laughs> How did that go? Quite scary, but at the same time, I, at that moment at 50, I just arrived at a place when I just said. <laughs> I don't give a shit what people say anymore. Outspoken. This is what it is. I will just say what the truth is. You know, uh, many of these. I uh, lost endorsements though after that. 1980, she has about 13 films. Can you imagine? In in one year, she did 13 films where she was the lead. Palakpak. <laughs> Paki, paki flash mo nga yung isang uh, wow. next one. Uh, it, it, yeah, of okay. course, iconic na yan. In your face. Walang hiya-hiya when it comes to things. She says what's in her mind and what she feels. Since I knew her when she was 18 up to now. And that was when we did a play years and years ago. Hindi siya nagbabago, which is a beautiful part about Sherry. She's consistent. She's constant. Wow. You know, she's getting more mature and more intelligent. But what she believes in, she believes in. She's gonna fight for it. Oh, thank But you. Very iconic ito. You're familiar with that film where she throws a glass of wine or what? And what was the line? You're nothing but a second rate right now. No, the, the, the jerk. <laughs> One of those iconic lines that's hard to beat. Okay, after all, how long ago was ito yung pelikula nito? 1986. And, and hanggang ngayon, eh? pa, you know, they, I, d- I doubt if they're still, they were even born. But they recognize <laughs> it. They recognize Imagine it. that. How did your uh, movie career begin, actually? Uh, by being a problem child. <laughs> I was a bad boy. <laughs> it took nine months to finish Problem Child. You know, I, I, I don't know where to begin. I really never wanted to come get into the business, frankly. I had no idea what it was going to be about. Um, really, things just led me to it because I guess I came from my mother and my father. And, um, Genetic. Yeah, but I love performing in school. I always was part of the drama club, the glee club, but I really wanted to take up psychology. I figured that if I take psychology, then all my family members will have it for free, <laughs> including me. <laughs> Now, but then things led its way there, and at the time, my mom was a single mother. So I didn't have much of a guidance. For me, I think it's very important in this business to have a proper foundation. Not that I'm finding blame, but now looking back, if I told my daughter, who by the way is also taking musical theater in New York, and decided to be an actress, much to my chagrin, and I told her, are you sure, Bianca, this is what you want? <laughs> Especially in New York. And definitely, it was going to be tougher because you're going to go through additions, rejections, additions, rejections. And I thought by sending her off to New York to be with her dad, it would help her expand her horizon and see other things aside from show business, where we all, the arguments, ended up in. Little did I know that it can possibly come true that this idea of genetic dispositions, that she decided to be an actress also. So I said, can't you do something else that would give you a better, you know, handle at, in life, like uh, constant work, uh, employment? She said, Mom, When I'm on stage, I'm most happy. Oh. And I know the feeling. <laughs> Because I am most happy when I'm on that stage. So I find myself looking back and I don't regret the moment that I started when I was 12, when I went to an audition and I was also rejected. And I always blamed at some point my mom for leading me to this scenario. I even took a break for 10 years, got married, raised the family, and here I am back again. And this time knowing that this is what I want to do. And this is what I love to do. And this is in fact the only thing I know <laughs> best. Ishmael Bernal. Uh, She worked with the national artist Ishmael Bernal in a number of films. Yes. And why do, you, uh, why do you love the experience with Bernal? What made it unique? I think because Bernie always made me feel that he believed in us, in me. Um, he never... He just made me, nur- he felt made me feel nurtured, like um, that he could take me on a different ride that trusted on my talent rather than my looks or my body or the trend of bold. 
and allow me to become an uh, and taught me acting. Pinapakialam niya ba ang acting mo? Like, oh, oh. yung pakikialam niya nung kay, kay Charito Solis, minsan si uh, Bernal was almost acting out the scene. Yes, the same thing with me. Um, I, I relied on him a lot because wala nga tayong mga schools, di ba, noon na meron tayong sariling proseso. So it was more like being him, knowing what he wanted to see in the direct. I mean, film is basically also a director's medium, so I... Nakasalalay sa kanya talaga ang trust ko. It's kind of hard to imagine now that she played uh, Butch Lesbian but she was so convincing and so good at it. Uh, you, you won a series of awards. Ano, ano yung mga napanalunan mo na? Ay, konti pa lang. Ang but, people but think but it's marami. Significant. Because this one is a Best Actress Award in uh, Madrid, Madrid, right? Madrid, Mana. For Mana, directed yeah. by Gabby Fernandez. Yes, this is one of my most um, uh, significant, as you say, because it was the last film I did with my late brother, Mark Hill. And so, to me, it's like parang dedication ko na. At saka, I'm sure he was watching up there for it to happen. Especially in Madrid because my mom's roots are from Spain. So, I think this is one of the awards that when I, uh, when I, when I announced to my mom that I won, she cried. <laughs> Kasi nga, Madrid, Spain. Ito ang uh, poster ng award-winning film. So, it won Best uh, Film, <laughs> Visual Selection siya, at saka Best Actress in a Foreign Language. Uh, Another uh, major experience that we shared was uh, Love the SSL SA Wagang Happies, where we played. Tikbalangs! Yes. Ay, my goodness, this was not the easiest thing I've ever done. I had no idea what a tikbalang was. I kala ko nga manananggal. And yeah, when I got to the set, ill prepared, I have to admit, I was going through some crisis. Thank God that Bernie was in the set because he was there to, ca to keep us. Uh, it's a physical role, eh? It's not more an emotional role and because we were supposed to be one people one entity we had to base each other's movements similar to each other somehow with its own unique qualities ako yung babaeng uh, tikbalang bernie was the lalaki and of course angel was the androgynous one so when bernie started with the actions and his expression then i had that peg to go with because I've never become that kind of a person anyway the, the film took 17 years to write right. Because it, uh, it uh, involves uh, convergence of history, mythology, and literature. Okay. Yeah, I, that's why I hated it because I couldn't deliver to merit the 17 years of writing and, and the you honor can, you of being a part of. change a word. You cannot change a word. And if you make a mistake, you repeat from the start. Uh -huh. I said, please, love, give me another chance, another movie. Pero I'm still waiting for The thing about it. Bernal, I mean, uh, love is papa papa lang niya sa. Uh -huh. And then you, you 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 either sink or float yeah. on your own steam. But yeah. he, he, uh, sa kanya, like uh, Hollywood directors, 90% of directing is casting. And uh, he had a feeling that uh, Angel Aquino, Shiri Hill, and I would make up the perfect combination of what a tikbalang should be. Il ilan, ilan ang uh, eigenmans sa uh, showbiz now? Hmm. Seven? It's not, not just a, a film family. It's now a tribe. Okay? So ilang kayo? One, two, three, seven. Seven? Seven lang? Seven. Six? Ay, oh, ang dami. Ah, pati maasawa. Uh, Hindi ko naman sinali. So, <laughs> uh, let me count. The Eichmann tribe, that's my brother Michael, Ryan, Jeff. Yeah, and my parents. Uh, very close to being the Barry Moores ah, of Gabby. the Philippines. Maxine, okay. oh my gosh. Ito ang ba Barry Moores kayo ng Philippines talaga. Sino ang paborito mong sibling? Kapatid. Sino sa mga kapatid mong paborito? Si Ralph. Si Ralph. Oh, I'm meaning ko. Si Mark. He's my twin. Paano ka ba nag-ubisa sa teatro? Sa'yo. <laughs> Kasama mo. Ayan. My so, very first foray in the theater was with Bernardo Bernardo. So we've come a long way. I did Barefoot in the Park uh, as Cory Bratter. Aba, alam po pa ka na, nakalimutan ko na. Yeah. Neil she, Simon. She was my leading lady. See, uh, she's not afraid to look at glamorous. Although this is a fashion icon, Diana Vreeland, in full gallop. She received tremendous reviews. What, what, what was your major decision to keep on doing plays? <laughs> Ah, like as my daughter says, when I'm on stage, I'm most happy. The process of learning a, a part, the research makes me also, educates myself, I, I, educates me in, in terms of other things I've never had to learn, I've been able to learn before in school, such as, for example, this Diana Vreeland is an amazing, iconic fashion editor of Vogue, and she has this documentary that spoke about the ice has to travel. So by researching her persona and her life and her character, she led me through throves of historical events of England, of Spain, things I would not have known before. And that's when I told my daughter, 
at some point do a course in history because these are real characters that you derive from real parts real human beings so yeah that's what i learned about doing theater the this is again the challenge of a woman when you don't find the right roles in cinema or fil or, or teleseries for sure for that matter in my age for that matter you're either the best friend as a young girl you're either the girl next door you either you're, unless you are a gorgeous you know woman and they an endorsable woman for, for for posters you get such roles and you find specific formulaic spots the bad girl the good girl the or a mother that's about it but any in-depth sub substantial stories that go under that woman does not ma they don't really explore much so it's in the theater that i find such roles that exist and that's why <laughs> I don't know, I love oh, living this life. Although it doesn't pay much, you know, and no. it eats a lot of your time. Yeah, grab it. It just makes me feel alive. Yes, yeah. Yeah. This is Bernie, thank you so much for this. Uh, time for Prosecco. <laughs> Questions? <laughs> Not the right person for this, really. I really don't know. I guess it's getting involved in the school like this, being in the network, going out there, starting... starting um, uh, workshops with uh, other, other now other uh, uh, students as well from other schools who are in that, and you create your own milieu. You make your own stories because there's the you same thing. You also. create your network. This early, you have to create a network. Yeah, plenty. So I guess it's now already a good place to start. You're in school, and I'm sure the school will make sure that at the end of your thesis, they'll invite some people here to watch your work, who are already in the industry. I hope. <laughs> Within the school also you have to audition. It's That's be collaborative. It yeah. Yeah. So um, such programs like this can be hopefully even outside of school. Like um, I'm just saying these things because there are many possibilities and promises. We are growing now. The industry is growing. Imagine nung panahon namin, siguro kami kami lang talaga. Inabot ko nga wala pang sound. Paulit. <laughs> Paulit ulit ng mga artista ang ginagamit. We're going to flourish. You know, I, well, yeah, you have to have a relationship with her. The problem also here is this. <laughs> no, but when, um, uh, yeah, you have to have a personal relationship. Not a personal, a professional relationship. This is to also be established from the get-go. That's about all I can say now. But, but, but you retain the right to say no is the important thing, right? Like if you don't want a project, mm -mm. you don't really want to do something you don't believe in. Bottom line is, I think it all comes back, comes down to being financially independent. It's a job. Let's face it, it's a job. It is also my form of living. I have to pay my bills. This is what I do. It's my profession. If I'm able to save, then I'll be in a position to say no to roles that I don't want. Truth be told, if a manager says, you're playing the Lola of Liza Soberano, oh my gosh, forget it. I'm not going to say yes, but if I'm hungry, I'll say yes. I mean, I love Liza. Thank God I just played her mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready for Lola roles <laughs> yet. Yeah, so... Yeah. Are there any, any other questions? That's to me. Don't, don't, don't. don't. <laughs> wow, after all that I've said, that's all you want from me? <laughs> My gulai! hasn't yet uh, not died, huh? <laughs> come here, come here, I like your hat. I want to throw water on his her face. <laughs> You're nothing but a second rate, trying hard copycat. <laughs> Big splash, I am taking a bath. Now that's the finale.
Can we have a photo? We gotta end it in style. Can we have a photo of the uh, no? audience? <laughs> Guys, can we, uh, we? You shouldn't come in with a line. Can we have a photo with you, please? Of course. Uh,